Sad Morning Mandarin. I am Razo Kumaling, and this is my video presentation on your Activity 5, Research on Artist. Artists can accomplish a great deal through the medium of painting, expressing their feelings, their ideas, even igniting social changes. The Philippines has been home to many gifted and famous artists. Their paintings are unlike those who found anywhere else. They can be appreciated on a purely aesthetic level, but on the other level, there is an aspect of Philippine culture and history that have influence in modern life. They become a window into a life and culture of our ancestors. So, to move forward, I choose Fernando Amarcelo as my research artist. Fernando Amarcelo Y. Keto was born in Cali Heron in Paco, Manila on May 30, 1892. He was the Philippine first national artist and is officially recognized as the Grand Old Man of Philippine Art. Renowned to his trademark luminosity and ability to render the iconic provincial Filipina, Amarcelo's paintings feature usually scenes in growing rural landscapes such as farmers ankle deep in rice field, women in colorful barataya sorting through mangoes, and vibrant society portraits. In 1909, Amarcelo graduated with honors from the Art School of the Legio di Manila then enrolled in the UP Dillingham College of Fine Arts at the tender age of 17, where he was mentored by his uncle and prominent Philippine painter, Fabian de la Rosa. In 1916, he graduated with honors and was granted a sponsorship by Spanish businessman Enrique de Baldi Ayala to study the Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Madrid, Spain. Returning to Manila, he produced married paintings from the 1920s to 1930s. He taught at his alma mater and saved as director of the school's art department between 1938 to 1952. He received a multiple accolades including a UNESCO Gold Medal, of recognition, a result pro patria award from the Fuertes University, the Arona Manila Award, a result pro patria award from the Eastern University, and a Gawad CCP for Singing Award from the Cultural Center of the Philippines, and the Diploma of Merit from the University of the Philippines, Republic Culture Heritage Award, Second Prize Bazar Escolta, First Prize New York's World Fair, for afternoon meal of rice, and he won also the first prize commercial and industrial fair in the Manila Carnival. Throughout his career, Armor Solo was committed to two fundamental ideas in his art. First, the classical notion of idealism, in which artistic truth has found true balance, harmony, and beauty. And second, the usage of the conservative concept of Filipino national character as rooted in rural communities and the cycles of village life. A perfect example of the intermarriage of these two is the painting titled Rice Planters. The painting features farmers set on a rice field regardless of their gender. They are all together working under a bright sunny day. Due to the usage of nature and pastel colors, the painting um, gives off a light visual weight and irony to the heavy toil and labor that rice planting entails. Using his trademark backlighting technique, he outlined the figures against a characteristic glow and intense light on one part of the canvas to highlight nearby details. Sunlight is a consistent element in Amarcelo's works. Breast strokes were smooth, which emphasizes the scene feel attended by the artist. Amarcelo painted the Philippine landscape in sunny and colorful depictions that idealize both nature and native beauty. Using techniques of natural after lightning and thinking from the impressionists of Europe, he mastered the skill of natural lightning in his paintings, and this trademark 
was later called his mastery of the Philippine sun. His works his works have inspired many an artist long after his death, and how a number of local cinematographers have adopted the look that saturates his paintings in motion pictures. The golden sunlight and the corresponding shadows is a proof of a marcellus genius as an artist. It can be argued that no other Philippine painter could match his ability to capture gloriously bold, idealized countryside imagery and the awe-inspiring beauty of nature's glow and luminescence. Afternoon Mail of the Rice Workers by Fernando Amarcello is a beautiful piece. It has good combination of colors, especially the light ones. The story behind this painting the story behind this painting is really the one that is really captivating. It shows how simple but happy the life of our great farmers was simplicity was just so perfect of the scene such an inspiring and heart-touching piece. Everything looks so perfect and it suits to all Filipinos. So, these are some of the famous artwork of Fernando Amarcelo. We have the planting rice. This painting is a 1921 oil version of the original painting, also called Planting Rice, which was exhibited at the St. Louis International Exposition and which won a gold medal for Fabian de la Rosa. This painting is an example of contemporary art since 1950. An oil on canvas painting by Mr. Fernando Amarcelo entitled Fruit Gatherer that depicts a woman sitting under a bamboo tree holding a winnowing basket full of fresh fruits. It also portrays the everyday lives of a lady living in a province where fruits, vegetables, that other edible things can be found fresh. Another artwork of Fernando Amarcelo is the Ladang Bukid, Maiden in a Stream, Afternoon Meal of the Workers, Fruit Pickers Harvesting Under the Mango Tree, Bataan, and many more. That's all. Thank you.